that's coming from a person who went to AI camp and then realized, oh my God, I got, I, sh- I could have gotten my degree in three months so with the Google search. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need, I need to spend. So I guess you started out as a data science intern teaching for AI camp, right? How was that experience like? It was, pre- it was pretty interesting. I initially kind of walked in expecting just to, you know, teach some kids about Python and then kind of just, you know, just do that for the summer before I went back to school. But it ended up being like the start of my time with AI camp, which has now come to over a year with them. And it's been pretty crazy. I mean, I, I, I just learned so much more than I thought I would. You know, it wasn't just teaching. It was also just, you know, I also learned some hard skills. So some new languages, some new frameworks, stuff like that. But then I've also learned how to, you know, be an effective communicator, how to be an effective teacher, how to like work in a team. So it's, it's been, it's been, you know, a lot more helpful to my career development than I thought it would be initially. So yeah, I mean, it's, been, it's been pretty amazing. How much should you know about AI before like teaching at AI camp? Because you, you, like... you've been through college, right? So like, yeah, what, so, what I, you mean, said, I was studying yeah. data science. Yeah, I was studying data science at, in San Diego. So I knew like the very basics, like I knew about, you know, different machine learning models. I learned about the statistical side of it. I learned about, you know, I knew or at least I knew how to like build simple machine learning models and stuff, but I didn't really know as much as I know now, which is like, you know, a lot more like widespread industry usage, you know, what does it actually look like when it's in, you know, when you're actually building out machine learning practices and models for industry level application. So I knew like, you know, the kind of educational side of it, the initial educational side of it, but I didn't know like, all the stuff I know now, especially like, you know, all these tools like ChatGPT and or really any of the GPT models or any of like the image models. I didn't know any of that until I came here. Yeah. So we worked on a project together and that was kind of like building an LLM and fine, not building an LLM, but using GPT and kind of like fine tuning it with our own data. And what was, what was like kind of like the biggest misconception or surprise that you had when like actually working with these kind of tools? I think. Maybe not misconception, but I thought one thing that I thought was interesting was like, I think the way it's portrayed in like, when you, when you're first learning about this is people want to use like really loose prompts and like to, you know, release the creativity. So they'll like say, oh, write me a storyline about this. And they won't give like that much context and you'll get something cool out of that. But when you want to make it like really do interesting stuff, like, in, you know, work with your own data or fine tune on something else. Right. I think one thing that that's pretty interesting is like, if you give like a really structured prompt with like examples, example outputs, example incorrect outputs, right, to teach it, and you give it like a very clear like, here's where you start, here's what it should look like by the end. If you give it that, like the model's performance is so much better than if you just say like a one line prompt or a two line prompt. Like it's it's so much better if you give very structured instructions. So I thought that was really What's your take on AI? Is AI going to take over the world? I think, I think it'll take over parts of the world. I could see it, you know, becoming like really, really indispensable to the modern day programmer. I, I can see that like, you know, taking over really low level positions, maybe. I think, you know, people always like to see people doing work and people always like to trust that there's a person behind everything. So I don't think it's going to replace or take over everything, but I could see you know, most careers having to at least learn how to use it in order to be more effective. Anything else that you'd like to add? Just join AI camp. It's sick. I'm plugging it hard. And then you should, <laughs> you should always, always make sure to learn as much as you can before you have to go to college or something. You should always, you know, do stuff on your own, learn how to build stuff on your own because the more things you can learn about, you know, working outside of an educational context, the kind of better and more self-sufficient person you'll be. So you should always learn to do stuff, you know, kind of outside the classroom. Oh, that's really good advice. Good advice. That's coming from a person who went to AI camp and then realized, oh my God, I, got, I, sh- I could have gotten my degree in three months with the Google search. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to spend. All right, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, for sure.